When the disciples spilled out into the marketplace in Jerusalem on that first day of Pentecost, no one quite knew where this ancient flash mob would lead. Pentecost was a spiritual revolution, and like all revolutions, it transformed relationships, changed attitudes to property, brought people from the margins to lead from the front. It also introduced radical new thinking, in this case, the inclusion of the Gentiles into the people of God. But all that was to come. The beauty of the Holy Spirit is his accessibility. All those who seek God can be filled with his Spirit, and it speaks movingly of the equality of all people before God that this is so. But it does require patience, which can be in short supply. Microsoft carried out research between 2000 and today on human attention spans. They found that in that period, the human attention span has dropped from 12 seconds to eight seconds. By contrast, a goldfish's attention span is nine seconds. It used to be an insult to describe somebody as having the attention span of a goldfish. Now it's a mark of excellence. The architecture of the new economy that we're entering into is based on the desire to capture and hold our attention. So when we go online, we find our brains are being dragged in a hundred different directions. In this time of lockdown, the testimony of some people has been that their attention span has lengthened a little bit, that they found it easier to relate to God and to pray to him. This hasn't been true of everyone, but it's notable that in some cases it has been. And in this period, in which we seek to pray for five individual people in our own lives, this time of thy kingdom come. We're finding that sharpened even more. But what happens as the lockdown is lifted? There are likely to be two uh, particular outcomes amongst others. One is that some people returning to their jobs will feel afraid that they're no longer able to fulfil them. Even just a period of illness or a long time on holiday can have people returning to their desks, palpitating with anxiety about whether they can still do their job. The other possibility is that we, we return with a degree of activism in what we're trying to do, working harder and longer hours to prove ourselves to others, possibly even to God. Our sufficiency is in Christ. He will go before us as we take steps out of this lockdown. He will be with us. And what we have to do in our calling, he will give us the strength to perform. And he wants us to wait more intentionally upon him. This isn't just an individual calling, because if we're surrounded by people in our lives and in our work, who are wanting us to hurry up, that puts us under pressure. So as we seek for space, we must be aware of other people also who are wanting to find space in their relationship with God. This is a shared goal. Those first disciples were told to make disciples of all nations when the only disciples who existed at that moment were gathered with them in the upper room. What a task they faced, but they weren't phased by it because they didn't neglect the daily commitment to patient prayer and the refilling of the Holy Spirit in their lives. We do well to follow them as we step out today.